Today, I'm speaking with Dr. Sarush Nazapur. He's the founder and CEO for NanoExplore. How are you today? Hi, Tracy. How, how are you? I'm great. I am so delighted to have you because you are the founder and CEO for one of the leading graphene technology companies. Would that be correct? Yeah, that's correct. And I'm really surprised. I mean, I was doing a presentation at a law firm recently, and none of the partners knew what graphene was. So I hate to do this to you, but would you like to start, since you've written two books and a number of scientific papers, by explaining what graphene is today? Graphene is a derivative material of graphite. So if you imagine graphite as a deck of cards, a single card would be graphene. Graphene has multiple properties. It's more stronger than stainless steel. It's faster and it's more electrically conductive than copper. Uh, it's flexible, it's permeable, it's transparent. And what is novel about graphene is it brings multiple properties all in a single material, which hasn't been done before and hasn't been seen before in any other materials. All right, so let's talk about what's important here. Who is NanoExplore and what are you attempting to do in this incredibly competitive market, marketplace? Yeah, NanoExplore is a producer of graphene. We convert graph, natural flake graphite direct to graphene. Uh, so our process is unique in terms of we can do it in one step. It's a safe process, completely water-based. And we can produce graphene with very low cost. And that's going to be way less than a dollar for production of the graphene, which is by itself is very novel. No other competitor can do that. Well, there's a lot of competitors out there claiming to do all kinds of things. And of course, most of us are trying to understand what exactly graphene has the potential to do. And it's my understanding, of course, that Mason Graphite owns a 40% position in yeah. NanoExplore. Is that correct? It's correct. Basically, we try to secure raw material. Since we start from graphite and we know the value of raw material, when you start from large flake graphite, you're going to end up with large flake graphene. The fact is for some application you need different size of graphene in terms of lateral size, in terms of thickness. So for instance, in batteries you rather to have mid size of graphene with thicker in order to have higher um, charging capacity. For some application like 3D printing you need very small size of graphene. And for some application like in batteries for cell phones, let's call supercapacitors, you need large flakes of graphene. So the ability to control the size and geometry of graphene is very important. So basically, you start from the large flake size of the, of the graphite in order to have the capability to control the process and end up with different size of graphene. Well, speaking of process, the one that most of our audience will be interested in will be how soon till Mason Graphite will see revenue from their interest in NanoExplore. What is the timeline? We are currently selling graphene. If um, you go to our website in our product section, we have five grades of graphene momentarily for the sales. Uh, so at the same time, even though our sales is not as big as um, like tons of graphite, but it very soon a couple of markets are and our joint venture partners will launch the products in larger scale. That's the time that the revenue from graphite would be more tangible. I don't know if you can speak to this, but what about your proprietary technologies you undoubtedly have? That yeah. would be the asset for NanoExplore, would it not? We already yeah. have patented, uh, have, um, patented the process um, uh, through U.S., and it's a, it's a pending patent. Um, we have three, odd, three patents basically on the process part, and uh, other patents also coming out on the application side of graphene. Um, momentarily, we work with a couple of companies in the lubricant market, which is our basically target market for Nano Explorer at this moment, and also on desalination and actually taking salt out from the water. Recently, I was reviewing some articles having to do with the electric car industry. And I thought it was very interesting that graphene may actually be a replacement for lithium ion batteries in the future, or at least reduce the amount of graphite required. Yes. Uh, so lithium ion battery, the growth of the market, now it's in hybrid cars. So it's a mixture of the electric uh, batteries and also fuel. By the in the next 10 years, there is a need for batteries that has very higher capacity that they can basically cover all the fuel of all the energy consumption of the car with no use of fuel. Then you need basically a higher 
capacitive batteries, which graphite is unable to do that in the future. So there would be a trend to convert graphite with the graphene. This will be also in the same way that graphene market will ma mature by the time and the price point comes down up to a certain point that is financially viable to use graphene into the batteries. So what should we expect as investors for and shareholders, for instance, in Mason Graphite from Nano Explore in, say, the next six months? Um, in the next six months, we, ra we will try to, uh, to increase our sales, basically through partnership with different industries and also through use of the more use of the graphite. And what about Nano Explorer? Are you planning on going public? We'll see. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much.